Thanks for checking out my channel. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you feel connected. Any donations will greatly help me improve my channel. Any questions, guidance, personal readings, business, glowed, B-U-S-I-N-E-S-S-G-L-O-W-E-D. Any questions or concerns you may have, you can send to the number 773-724-3928. And um, the personal readings that I do are on your current situation. I don't do future plan, future goals, future nothing readings. I do the present moment, um, things in the past that you didn't see that you could look for, like how to d protect yourself if it happens to you or if you're dealing with it now. You feel me? Give you advice, help you see what you didn't see back then that might influence you now, type stuff. So, yeah, we somewhere with the stars skydiving. It could be a situation, or you could be swimming. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. The base word is diving. You could be skydiving, your situation could be diving, or you could just be diving into a pool or just somewhere relaxing. Good things are coming. Oh, yeah. They're trying to block your future manifestation. This could be an air sign. They could be blocking an air sign or an air sign could be blocking. Missing something important. Yeah, they feel like they on the other side of the grass. <laughs> when they could have been in the gym. <laughs> the mop. It's like they made a mess, tried to clean it up, but made it messier. <laughs> now they're trying to go back and see what it is that they said, how they said it, so they don't get caught up. But they're trying to, you know, they're watching the karma unfold. They're watching social medias. They're watching you had a time of your life or, you know. And then it's like, yeah, we could have been with her, but we're here dealing with this BS, cleaning up the karmic feminist mess that, you know, they said you should have wrote it down like ingredients. Uh, they could have lost the masculine, went towards the divine feminine, expressed the true feelings because that's where he was being guided. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A earth sign coming to give you an apology, like materialistic apology. And I think his thing is, if I give you all this materialism, materialistic stuff, will you accept it or will you tell me like, no, nah, I don't want no materialistic stuff. Like, this is, this is a good, like, thank you for this, but, like, if you ever want to apologize, just say it, and we can move forward from it. Don't be something that you're not, because that could cause issues, hmm. because how easily manipulated, like, how easy it is to manipulate you to do things, and it's like, you don't want to receive any type of bad karma. So you allow it, even though you don't want to be there. It's like, I ain't even going to speak on it. I like to speak on stuff after it happens because while you're going through it, it could influence you to be like, oh, since you said it, but for me, to, I, I'm not. Anyway, yes, a decision. And... I feel like Divine Masculine made a decision and unknowingly Divine Feminine is trying to gather information about this masculine to see if she can trust him or not. And he low-key addictions, drowning, sorrows, and illusions. So I feel like, yeah. 
it's just too much on him and he feeling like I don't deserve all of this because I didn't do I ain't do that much I just oh don't hesitate or you lose I'm sorry don't hesitate or you'll lose but it's like he can't help but hesitate because he he's afraid like if I leave here I won't be able to come back and if I go towards her she won't accept me and then I'll be all alone you know I done cut off all my holes for this karmic trying to be faithful for divine feminine and she don't even want me this could be a fire sign earth, um, earth sign or a water sign Mm -mm. I can't do no more. I gotta take a break. I need water, some food, and that PSL. I need a knee up. So, black magic also could be like, it's just a way of saying good or bad karma. And he feeling like, uh, or he's realizing that he's been. <laughs> bamboozled into getting this karmic pregnant because she gave him the script but by you standing in your power it revealed this It revealed the true identity of the karmics and the people that he called home. And he realizing that uh I don't know, but a friendship. So I feel like Divine Feminine was about to walk away from this Divine Masculine. And then he pulled her back in by choosing this Karmic Feminine. Uh, you know? I don't know. Because before divine, before I walked away, uh, I expressed myself to him. And he still abandoned, like ghosted me. And that's when I decided to. So just be alert. And just because y'all meet that day don't mean that y'all got to make lifelong plans that day. He's healing his inner child, which is allowing these karmics to be put in a place. And now he's the one demanding them things. And he's realizing, like, by them not having the power anymore, they're admitting things to this masculine. Because they're afraid that now he's the one that's going to walk away. At first, he was the one powerless because he didn't want nobody to walk away from him. But they started getting greedy and he started losing self-value. He started realizing like, hey, I got to, I got to, you know, this is costing me. Because by him trying to keep up with the expectations of a karmic, he started, you know, probably missing haircuts or not being able to fill up his tank all the way not being able to go to the laundromat having to divvy up the money for the kids now so now we can't spend something i'm gone i'm tired